Well, here is something initially that I thought was different, but it's really not. <laughs> this is something that's happened long before. Uh, if you really think back in the comics history, there were all sorts of gimmicks, uh, strange like media connected comics for the sake of promoting other media. Like for example, this OJ Simpson's paper, uh, it was a comic book it, it with just the worst possible logo I've ever seen in my life. Uh, but there, there's countless other examples of, you know, these random crossovers, uh, that were meant to, you know, spread some kind of message or promote something. Uh, well, DC comics is doing this now. Initially I, I was thinking now, uh, maybe H if HBO is uniting with DC, maybe HBO is going to push some more business in DC's direction. But the more that I look at the, the actual facts, the specifics of this instance, it makes me realize it's really DC Comics making a book for HBO. You know, it's not really going the other way around. Um, so what does this mean? Does it matter? No, this is <laughs> this is basically what we have here. Uh, it's just another O.J. Simpson's papers, uh, <laughs> guilty or innocent. Uh, any number of, of of kind of comic ventures like that. Uh, so this will just be a little footnote in comics history, I think. I hope I'm wrong. I really hope that this ends up being, you know, HBO and DC sharing some kind of universe together and they sell lots of comics and everyone reads comics and the world becomes a, a utopia of comic book readers. But I just, if I'm being honest, I, I don't think so. I mean, it's not a bad thing. It's just, it is what it is. All right. So here into this article, which by the way, is far more cynical than I'm being, I'll have, you know, uh, the, the headline for this is DC is making HBO max inspired comic books for some reason. <laughs> Corporate synergy is the subtitle. All right. Okay. Well, we'll go with that. All right. So it starts in addition to its, its originals and exclusive HBO max now has an original digital comic book series as well. Warner media partnered with DC comics to publish to the max, which tells stories about everyday people achieving their maximum potential. According to a Warner media statement, uh, ordinary people reading their maximum reaching their maximum potential um so initially i was like uh it's new superheroes then when i started reading the description just from a comic reader's perspective this does not really interest me <laughs> uh, in particular because they're already superheroes that are just you know better perhaps like i i don't understand why uh but that's okay we'll go with it uh here we go. And if you can tolerate some groan worthy puns, there's an opportunity to score to scour the comic for promised Easter eggs that are nods to HBO and Warner media series. Uh, because we need that in our life. Uh, all right. So it goes through some of the superheroes. Apparently there are three individuals that all go to some magical dog named Max that helps them uh, reach their full potential. They each get superpowers. Uh, we have a school teacher named Hector who learns to fly, uh, and ventures into outer space on a rescue mis mission. Scuba instructor Brian is sent to Singapore to save innocent people from a deadly storm. And Olivia is a down on her luck stand up comic who must stop a robbery at a Las Vegas casino. Uh, I, I, I'm really, I am genuinely kind of confused. <laughs> I just don't get it. Uh, so three books, it looks like, I think, you know, number one, number two, number three, but they're about three different heroes, same, same storyline, same continuity and same magical dog that has given them uh, new life. So there we go. Uh, it is digital only. This will not be print digital only. Comics are now available at uh, free at dcuniverse.com. Now, a lot of people, um, you might speculate, hey, this is the big plan to start getting people to buy comics. Probably not. I'm guessing that this has actually been in the works for a little while because there's a little bit of a lag uh, between when ideas are conceptualized and when they actually get published. So this going digital only, 
um, uh, my thoughts are probably already had been, it had already been in the pipeline well before, uh, they decided, you know, before COVID happened and, and everything. So, uh, what impact does this have on the comic industry? Uh, probably nothing. Is it hurting anything? No, it's, it's just fine. Uh, I hope I'm wrong. I hope it is, uh, some beautiful partnership that leads to more people reading comic books. Uh, I don't care if more people watch HBO. I'm sorry. I just don't care. There's enough TV watchers out there. Uh, but keeping the medium alive of comics is important to me. So I, I hope uh, it, it has some crossover the other way. I doubt it, though. So let me know what you think in the comments below. Also, there we go. Fatal is my next comic book. It is Flynn Fallon's Alien Termination and Logistics. This is a really great sci-fi story. I'm really, really proud of what we've done so far. Charlie Snogan's the artist. He is fantastic. And his, his uh, work and effort and just pure raw talent cannot be understated uh, as far as this book goes. He's just phenomenal. You're going to want it. I'm going to post this in the link in the description below. You know, Join my mailing list. Join the pre-launch page. It's all the same. But this will get you, you know, you'll know exactly when this is coming out. And you'll get special offers uh, emailed to you once uh, once it is out. So check it out. Uh, really stoked about this. And I think that you will be too. Check out the pre-launch page and I'll see you in the next video.